Okay, this is going to be kind of fast, but uh, this is a life program, artificial intelligence. Um, first you enter the population count, then the lonely count limit, the overcrowded count, the neighbor count, the minimum to create new neighbors, uh, neighbor count maximum to create new neighbors, and the iterations you wish to cycle through. You want to pause the game between each iteration, each cycle, so you can see what happens easier. And you, how, if whether you want to see how the, what the cause of death is of the population. And here's a, a uh, review of what you entered. And then just enter to begin. Okay, it starts off. And a whole bunch of them died right off the bat because of the uh, environment. But as you can see, there's a few cells that uh, are regenerating. And they're generating uh, new neighbors. And some neighbors are dying off. Because they're either lonely or too populated. There's real specific rules as to... Uh, life and death and the variables as you can see if they're too lonely they die if they're overcrowded they die I'm using an array to fill these uh, levels and each point you see is a point within an array two-dimension array and that was it. It showed a hundred uh, cycles. Okay, in this example, we're going to show uh, cause of death. Starting off with 600 population, loneliness two, overcrowded seven, new neighbor four, five, a hundred cycles. And we do want to see the cause of death and the uh, output will look different <clears throat> uh, they either die of loneliness or overcrowdedness so L is a loneliness and you can see the stars are the living the L's and the O's are the uh, dead ones and you can see how the in the middle of a bunch of live neighbors there's an O and that means it's overcrowded it means there's uh, probably a neighbor on each side of them and as you can see it looks a little different when you actually show the cause of death And the cause of death uh, characters don't change until um, something else happens in that cell. Either they, a new neighbor is created or uh, they die again of over, overpopulation. And that's a hundred cycles. You can see the died last cycle and live last cycle. Okay. Okay, and in this third um, version, I am setting the population count, the starting pop count, to 500 instead of 600. 600 seems to be the magic number. Anything under 600 or much under 600, um, the entire population dies within a few cycles. And you'll see at 500 how quickly they die in like, what is it, three cycles or something. We're not going to look at cause of death on this one. Total starting pop 500. Dead, dead, dead. Three cycles. Okay. This will be a fast, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, run. It's 550 is the starting pop. And you'll see that they have a fighting chance at 550. They might make it. Can't tell for sure. Can see at the bottom of the uh, screen 
it shows uh, what iteration, what cycle we're on, how many died the last cycle, and currently alive this cycle. And you can tell if the uh, currently alive is getting bigger, then your population's increasing. If it's getting smaller, it's decreasing. Looks like uh, 900,000. I don't know how many will fit in the screen. And we're at iteration uh, 69, 70, 1,500 people, 1,600, it's hovering, 16, 17, broke through the 18, back to 17, 18, come on 19, there we go, back to 18, made it up to 1,986. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.